Alright, let's get it going. CFW. <clears throat> Toronto Stock Exchange. Cal Frack Well Services LTD. And that is another stageanalysis.net US stocks watch list and discussion scan result and honestly all I have to do is uh, pick up one or two of those and bam this one has telling me a lot of good things all right let's set up check this out look at this huge top right here And you see, sometimes you could see these, these smaller patterns, and then they they reach your targets, and then you have bigger patterns that reach your targets, and then you have these ultimate big, big, big patterns that, after the smaller encompassing targets have been reached, when that one and look at that Ooh, phew, almost uh, close to the end all right anyways let's concentrate on what we have here create some backspace with the chart up <clears throat> i'm on the monthly candle to be able to see where the pre higher prevailing trend and after that we're gonna roll down to the weekly and apply the Stan classic trade framework here's a whole bunch of stuff that's happening nice right here there's a base breaking out target reached there's a bigger bigger base here encompassing pattern added to breakout line and that target is on its way that's going to go run into previous support turn resistance a wall so there's going to be some congestion here but the goal of the monthly right now it's not to apply 100 percent my trading framework and deep diving into it it's to see the closest pattern here. So what I've been know what remember these are monthly candles. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months. What what we're gonna notice on the weekly chart is this section here, the closest launching pattern, how that's gonna look like. And we have the way we have it right now is one, two, three, four, five months, and we have a breakout here on the monthly candle chart. So right now that's in progress on the monthly candle chart. Could still the action could get sucked back in. So we gotta be careful right there. But uh, if we have a close above seven dollars, seven yeah, if we have a close above seven dollars, then that's a continuation right there. Trend is going up. All right, let's go. Stand. So, so, ooh, look at that. Looks nice, right? So on the weekly candle chart, look at that candle right here. Bam. Look at the RSI. Whoa, going over halfway territories, going upwards. That volume is what, six, seven millions? Look at the average here, 2.5, 2.5. That's at least twice the average of the previous four to five weeks. Where's the candle? Do, 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 do this candle right here. So that's like uh, eight plus, 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 plus. Ichimoku cloud, just uh, in case you're blinded the uh, by your greed and you don't notice where the closest support is or resistance 
there's no red cloud on top, so there's no resistance. The support is starting to be built under. 30 week moving average going up, horizontal breakout line. Let's be careful here. The horizontal breakout line on the monthly is $7 because it uh, it's based on opens and closes of candles and the wicks is noise on intra. There you go. This is the breakout can the breakout level at the uh, weekly. So if you have a close above 742 open close 740 there you go if you have a close above 740 so tomorrow it can be friday so if it close up as above 740 you have a close you have a nice breakout above this pattern here but you also see when you zoom in it changes the whole perspective I always try to zoom in before if you want precision. Sometimes you get a good glimpse and then you, from the exterior view, the higher view, zoom in and then you'll see the details of the chart. These are weekly candles. Here you have a one, two, three, four, five week uh, formation, break out this candle. And then you could have even said that that candle is a breakout of this pattern here which is a little bit bigger one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i could count 12 weeks three month bat bottom pattern this is just some congestion here if you would get in right now and you don't wait for the end of the week then what could happen here is the price action could go back go back down to this breakout level if it goes back down on contracting volume like these small candles and you could buy here at the at the breakout level right here at the uh, at the 650 level or you could wait for the end of the week see if it could close above uh, 740 if it close above 740 you have the volume that's a confirmed stand wind sign breakout on the weekly candle and on the monthly well to have that and all volume and all uh, confirmation on the monthly you would need that the price action would need to stay above six um what did i say above seven on the um, if you stay above seven at the end of the month then you have the confirmation on the monthly candle also so this is lining up pretty good for cfw this is the way you want it it's building up nice there's already like a 40 to 40 percent move 650 yeah 10 percent 20 percent yeah 20 20 30 percent move already from this uh, this low here uh, going upwards and uh, look at that 30 week moving average it's already it's really nice incline uh, somebody maybe could have played it lower here maybe the original original breakout could have been here do, 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 do. sometimes guys i look at the charts i do the podcast i relook at my the video and the next day then I, I look i say oh man look i didn't see that it was right there so it could happen to you guys that's why you never always stay uh, flexible and say i see it now and there's no reason for you not to uh, change your mind later on saying oh look i missed that clue See these high volume candles, how it builds up. I look at the volume, honestly, and then I look up. I look at the volume first. Look at that spike. And usually those spikes, they coincide with breakout levels. And then you draw a line off that candle. And then you see one, two, then you see that there was a support here and it was actually a breakout here. So the original, original breakout is way back here. So this is actually a continuation breakout on the weekly. 30 week range trying to go up. Let's go let's zoom in. Do, 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 do. Zoom in the other way. Do, 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 do. And yeah, look at that here. This candle right here. Could have drawn it here, just about. Breakout candle. 
look at the volume, like eight times the average of the previous four weeks. And somebody would buy here, what would happen? One, two, three, four, five, five months, six months, uh, weeks, um, a month and a half. What do we say? Between one to three months, usually there's a pullback. It's a pullback on low volume. Look at that. Contracting. Oh, small volume. Perfect occasion to buy right here. Right here. You see that? And off it goes after that. With increasing volume, another like breakout, another continuation move right here. This is really following Stan framework A to Z. Good candidate to, to teach. Look at that pullback, contracting volume right there. See the pullback on contracting volume? Another occasion to buy right there. Could buy on the breakout. But that's the thing. If you buy on the breakout, get ready for psychologically, emotionally, that is going to pull back almost close to your breakout. If not, a little bit lower. And then just be ready to buy more. So don't, ah, oh, look, I made so much money. I could buy my new house, new car. Don't think like that. It's part of the process and then it goes up and down up and down don't get affected by it just accept it just look at the volume and then you, that should reassure you that uh, it's going to bounce back up so i did it once twice and finally i'm catching on i guess late in the later in the in the move and nice sideways move towards the 30 week moving average and that's like another another nice play to to bounce off that and go out and you see it right here on this candle maybe there's gonna be some resistance here but uh this has the cells in its wins guys cfw guys keep keep that one close and um enjoy guys thanks uh, stageanalysis.net for that one Awesome. Ciao.